DMT, mate. This mm. is something I'm trying to get into a little bit more now and just understand this. Mm. You know from my um, past experience, last experience with mushrooms, that there's a little bit of fear that still resonates, not anywhere near as much as it used to, but just that what could happen of being so out of control. I've read up a lot of stuff about DMT and how it can be some, for some people, very terrifying, you know, puts you at one with like all these sorts of things, you know, what was it? Did you ever experience anything negative? And when I say negative, not in the sense of like, it was good in the end because it was growth, you know, mm. but negative in the sense of like, whoa, this is very overwhelming. No. Never got that, eh? No, that's probably not the answer you wanted. Um, mm. My my view on it all is is could be slightly skewed to the average Joe wanting to do it, you mm-hmm. know. So I definitely want to put this out there that you know I'm not doing DMT every every day, no. every month, or anything like that. It's it's a very spiritual thing for me. It's a very spiritual practice yep. where you know I um I you know I, I say a little bit you know to the medicine before I before I consume it. It's very sacred. I do a meditation and, and things like that. So I, I use it in a different sense. And, and so whatever comes, and this is my whole view, like whatever comes is perfect. Mm-hmm. Like where you are right now on your journey of wherever you are wanting to get to is perfect. Mm. Um, and so it's, you know, whatever I see is, is whatever was meant to happen. And that's the whole thing with going to ayahuasca because I had this expectation of, oh, oh I should have seen this. I wanted to see this. Um, but, yeah. but everything that you need to see right now is what you're seeing. Yeah. If you're not seeing it, if you're not hearing it, you don't need to hear it right mm. now. You don't need to see it right mm. now because 80% of the stuff that we see is made up. Yeah. In fact, that our, our brain is constructing these images that we've seen in the, in the past and we're seeing different shades of light that reflects a guitar over there. Mm-hmm. Right. And so our brain goes, oh, that's a guitar. And so we can be tricked into seeing things that we do, it isn't actually there. True. And you'll you'll know this from you know um, people's statements uh, when you know a crime or yeah. something like that. Everyone will have misinformed judgments, and they'll swear black and blue that that's yeah. what they saw. The dog was eight foot tall. Yeah, exactly. And then you know you even look at things like uh, make making a murderer. How they 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 put this image into someone's head, and they mm. said yes. Um, then I did that. Mm. And so. What you need to see right now is exactly what you need to see. Mm. So if I have that attitude going in, I, I, I trust that the medicine will give me the answer that I need. And for me, it's not the visuals. Mm. For me, it's the release of tension, of stress, of overwhelm. And once you can start to empty that, you can then start to fill back up. And it's just like when you go and earth yourself. I don't know if you've ever been stressed. Have you, you do, do you do much grounding and earthing? How do you mean? Do you ever touch earth? Uh, yeah, actually. I walk around in bare feet almost all the time. And mm. I make sure that I just... It makes me feel more centered. Mm. Awesome. So if anyone out there listening, right, and you haven't touched earth, have a think about... So we are just trillions of cells. Well, protons and neutrons and electrons and... We create the same electronic um, field of, and, and energy as lightning, right? We're, we're both made up of electrons and what lightning needs to do to de-earth itself or, or to release the energy, mm. um, these negative charges, in it, it needs to come down and earth itself. And just like humans, we need to earth ourselves as, as well. And so when people, um, you know, in a typical day-to-day life, they, they wake up, and they put their, their socks on carpet and then they put their shoes on and then they'll walk to the car, car to work, work to gym, <laughs> gym to home. Uh, they'll take off their socks, sorry, their shoes, maybe put on slippers or something yep. like that. Um, and then they go to sleep and they sleep off the floor, you know, and it could be uh, days, weeks or months before people actually get their bare feet on soil yeah. or in sand or on grass, and especially during the winter time, mm. right? Um, so when we have all of these build up of these negative charges, this creates a whole heap of worry and overwhelm and stress and it can in- impact our sleep, our moods, our libido, our clarity, our energy. Um, and so sometimes I just get an overwhelming feeling that I just tap into to go, okay, cool, it's time to do some DMT. I need to learn something. Yep. 
or it's time to earth or it's time to do meditation. Boom, book myself into 10 days. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, or do a course and book myself into 10 days. So, yeah. Um, listen, man, I, it's, it's simply a tool. And yeah. when you're building a house, you don't always use a hammer. No. You know, you use a saw and a screwdriver and a chippy. Yeah. <laughs> and someone else. You get someone else to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so, you know, just, just because DMT is there, it's just like with any drug, you know, just because it's there doesn't mean you have to go and use it. No, that's right. And yeah. so I think if you just use it cautiously, it caus- cautiously. Um, chippy. Chippy, absolutely. <laughs> just use gotta, a chippy. You've got to budget for them. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, you know, it does have consequences. You know, you can't just, you can't just do it and, and, well, you can just do it and go, well, that was sort of nothing. Yeah. Or you could do it and you could sit with it and yeah. you could reflect and go, right, what is the underlying lesson here? Yeah, definitely. You know, and we release, if you've done ayahuasca or, or even DMT or any plant medicine, you release in different ways. Mm. Some people vomit. Some people um, have diarrhea. Some mm. people yawn. Some people burp. Some people have the hiccups. Some people cry. Mm. Um, the, our body is releasing in some sort, some sort of way. So sometimes I've just had DMT. I'm not even sad, right? But your eyes just start leaking water. Mm. It's like, okay. And then the first time this happened is like, am I sad? Mm. What am I sad about? I'm actually in such a great place right now. Are these happy tears? Well, what is this? And then you sort of just reflect and it's just like after this, you know, once you've had a good cry, you know, it, regardless from DMT or ayahuasca or mm. anything like that, it's a lot of emotion let go. Yeah. And then you can be open to new learnings and lessons. Yeah, definitely. Discovery Roger, go for deploy.